Hi everyone and welcome to the review about the new Blue T AC180 which is a solar power generator which weighs about 17 kilograms. It features an LFT battery which should last about 10 years. You got five years of limited warranty and what you will be able to do with this solar power generator, I'll find that out for you in this video. By the way, it's available for about 1200 bucks and I've been testing this one here in combination with a 200 watt solar panel by the same company. The link is listed in the video description below and you will get a discount if you use that link in the video description below with that discount code below it. So let's get started. Let's start with the body itself. As you can see, that's the entire package. It's not too big to be honest. And I'm powering at the moment the video light, which is just behind the camera. And this solar power generator is basically a large power bank with more ports than you would expect with a normal mobile charger. There are three ways to charge it. You can either charge it via your home network, via solar or use the provided cable to charge it in your car. If you're in a rush you can charge it with the provided cable at home and that takes about from 0 to 100% about an hour, an hour 20 something like that. If you want to charge it in a more independent way, so independent of a normal power source, maybe from home or something like that, or even from your car, you can charge it with the 200 watt solar panel that I've been using. And that obviously depends on many factors, if it's cool outside, or if it's too warm outside. But in general, I would say it takes about nine to 10 hours to fully charge it from zero to 100% on a sunny day. I start with one critic point because we are now in 2023 and if you have a look at the ports you will see four USB type A ports and only one USB type C port. I would say it would make more sense to put in like three USB type C ports and only two USB type A ports. This USB type C port however will charge with 100 watts. So you'll be able to run these big MacBooks, that's the 14 inch MacBook Pro and the 16 inch MacBook Pro on its full power by doing video editing, photo editing and using all these intensive programs that take a lot of energy and that wasn't any problem at all. So I was able to charge them at the same time and working on the same time. And if you want to get an average working time, so if I do completely video editing and photo editing, and I'm only doing this 16 to 20 hours, and if I'm just working on it, like doing Excel and PowerPoint and stuff, you can do that probably for about three days. Then we got four USB type a ports which support 5 volt and 3 amperes and we got two power outlets with 230 volts and each of them supports 1800 watts. One thing I'm very thankful all ports are at one side and not like on many other solar generators on the front side or at the rear side which is kind of weird because if you put them in the corner and you want to reach some points and then you figure out ah, I need these sockets on the back side it sucks. So I'm thankful that they are all here at the front side and you have access all at the same time. There is one power lifting mode which gives you a maximum of 2700 watts using these ones and you can access the power lifting mode using the free Blue T app. I tried out many devices out there with that Blue T AC180 like a vacuum cleaner or a water boiler and I can tell you straight away Using a water boiler only takes three minutes to boil up water. However, you can only do that like four or five times using this one here and a standard water boiler with about 2000 watts. Then we got a 12 volt plug for various devices. There are also two vents on these sides which go on at roughly 24 degrees centigrade to cool up the internal batteries and we've been testing out the volume and the maximum we could get out was like 65 to 68 decibels. If I take my phone I can put it on top and there's also a surface which supports wireless charging. There's also another critic thing I cannot 
charge my smartwatch. So if you have a smartwatch like the Apple Watch, for instance, you cannot charge it as the same surface. And the maximum output you can get on here are 15 watts. You got two solid handles on each side to carry this really solid battery. And due to the compact format, it will fit in your footwell. Let's speak about the app here very quick. It's available for free for Android and iOS. And as you can see with that app, you can scan the QR code at the backside of this solar generator. Then you can control separately DC or AC. You can switch it on or off. And you can also turn off the AC 180 by using the app. However, you cannot turn it back on. Then you can switch between 50 and 60 Hertz. If you are in the United States, for instance, you will use 60 Hertz. If you're in Europe, you will use 50 Hertz. It's a really nice graphic. So you can see the input power and the power that goes out of this device. And you can also select a time when the AC 180 should go into sleep mode. Let's speak about the solar panel. As I told you at the beginning of this video, I've been using now this 200 watt solar panel by the same company, which reads details at the moment for about 450 bucks using the link in the video description below. The smallest one starts at 68 watts for about 180 bucks and the biggest one retails at a thousand bucks which delivers 420 watts. You have now the choice for on the road. It does have a really solid handle which I welcome a lot. It's foldable and it fits in your trunk or at the back side. This one here weighs 7.3 kilograms. It can be easily stored behind your cabinet. The cool thing is you can set it up within 30 seconds or fold it back in its original position within 45 seconds. There's one MC4 cable included and I got this extension here for about 25 bucks. The link is by the way provided in the video description below. The main features are it's really well made, stable handle, 200 watts specified and I got more than a 180 watts on this AC 180 which is quite impressive because I purchased once the um, EcoFlow 160 solar panel and the maximum I could get out was 110 watts. Let's make it more interesting and speak about the practical part. So I've been trying out many devices like a vacuum cleaner, which wasn't a problem at all. A blender, no problem. I could run it for about three to four hours if it's a blender that has about 300 to 400 watts. Charging a smartphone or tablet is no problem at all. Obviously it depends on the battery capacity, but I could easily charge my phone here 100 times using this AC 180 or even 30 to 60 times the iPad Pro. Working remotely with your MacBook for instance or Chromebook or Microsoft Surface in the park, no problem at all thanks to the power output of 100 watts using this USB type C port. And I have also an idea if you run out of USB type C ports, I have been using this adapter here, which you can also find under this video. And this adapter here supports more than one USB type C port, which you can easily put in that socket right here to have more ports available for all your devices, like a camera, a drone, or even your MacBook. And as I told you at the beginning, I've been doing hardcore video editing, photo editing, at the same time to get like the maximum output possible of this AC 180 and I could I was able to do that for more than 12 hours here on my MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 while charging other devices at the same time. I also tried out a lamp which lasts for more than 100 hours. A fridge, a cooler isn't a problem either. Basically it charges 90% of all your devices and I've also tried out to clean up my car using this conventional vacuum cleaner here and it took about 20% after I finished cleaning up my car which took around about 30 minutes. In general it's really hard to tell you how often you can charge a single individual device because it can be that you're working at the same time on it or that you're charging other devices at the same time but in general I would say it's a really nice tool to have if you would like to be more independent. It could also be that you are a photographer or a filmmaker and you have to go to many jobs with your car, for instance, like a wedding in the morning and something like a business event in the evening and in between you need to charge your devices and you can leave that 
in your car, you can charge your MacBook on the go, you can charge your cameras at the same time. As I said, if you need more USB Type-C devices, which are more common, I would say in 2023, no problem at all by using one of these adapters here. Let's assume you're a worker and you need to go from one job to the other and in between you need to charge these batteries, no problem at all using the AC180. Let's summarize after I showed you all the details of this AC180. I would say it's a good workmanship, great design, sturdily handles, additional USB-C ports are missing and what I like a lot is the live display. So you have a nice overview about the power input and power output. The solar panel delivers more than expected, good workmanship, easy setup, disassembly, cables are included, you got a kickstand, therefore you can charge more than 90% of all your devices, whether it's an Apple Watch using the provided cable, a tablet, surface, camera, drone, TV, cooler, and a tool like a drill for instance. The volume of the van I would say is less often than with my Echo Flow, but it can run longer at one time to cool down the batteries. The maximum as I said was roughly between 60 and 70 decibels, right at the device and it's barely audible further away. Transport is super easy, you can either put it in your trunk, footwell and carry it thanks to the handles. Training is essential to carry it because it weighs 17 kilograms. And it's a great tool for emergencies like a power outage, power for on the go, for weddings, filming, charging cameras and drones as I said before. It's a nice tool for camping if you're away with your kids and or swimming at the lake if you want to set up a jukebox for instance or to charge all your devices if you're with friends. How is your opinion about the AC180? Do you have other devices by that company? Make sure to leave a comment below. And now I have a special offer for you. Make sure to check out the links provided in the video description below. There's also a discount code that you may use to get a little discount here on the device and the solar panel. And if you do have any further questions, leave a comment below. See you next time and tschüss.